y'all, these bundle bows are going to be real popular. I'm encouraging you to make some. And let's get going. Okay, so first I'm going to take a couple of pretty black chenille stems and let's connect them together. Carol says her hair was jet black, so when she let it grow out, it looked like a dang skunk. <laughs> well, at least mine's lighter blonde, you know, so it's maybe not going to be so bad. But I really am ready for it to be completely done. Hey, Janine. So I've got my um, chenille stem and my layer right here inside. This is the 4-in-1 by Pro by the Hand, and we're going to use that. Um, and I think, oh, well, thank you, Renee. That's why I really want to see how this one's going to make up. And the thing is, y'all, you can use just about any kind of scrap stuff to, uh, to make it happen. So here's the black 10 inch. And what we're going to do is make a giant bow by just folding that over. And this is about nine inches or so. Hey, Jan. Look at Jan. Jan's got her supporter badge. Y'all, you see that green thing beside Jan's name? That means she's one of my supporters. And she is in a special supporter group. If you want to be in the supporter group, it's $4.99 a month. You just sign up on the page. I posted a discount in there today. For my peoples. Okay, let me cut this. Hey! So there's lots of other benefits that you get besides just a badge. I mean, you know, other things that will entice you. All right, so look at this. We're going to make this a fabulous bundle bow. So line this all up. And then gather it down the middle. This is going to be the back of your bow. So we're going to lay this in there. Just like that. Now you can trim this up if you'd like. Once it's in there. So this is the base for our bow. And... We have it started. So the first thing to do is get in um, a ribbon. And I've got a few things I want to use. These are the ribbons that I picked out. Do y'all like them? Do you see them? Do you love them? Renee said she cut her hair well, I, I've cut mine the last time I was in there, and it did work really well, but I, I'm willing to get it cut again. Do you love it? Who loves it? I think I love it. Yay, look at all those hearts. My goodness. Okay, so let's start with this ribbon. Look how pretty this one is. Y'all, come on now. Now I'm going to make about a 9-inch. There's another one of my TCS people, Tammy Rowe Howard. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's take this and gather it right here. I'm going to be listing these bumble, bundle bows on my Etsy store and my website. I think they're going to be really popular. Hey, Fred, now what is going on? Okay, let's make what kind of size? Let's make a seven inch loop. Stay with me. Stay with me. This is an awesome creation. And anybody can do it. You know you can. Hi, Wendy. How are you? Yes, I don't normally go live on a Saturday night. But this is, this is what I'm doing. I'd rather spend time with y'all than veg out in front of the TV. For me, this is fun. Hi, 
Hi, Lisa. It is nice to see you, too. Welcome. Okay, let's make this bumblebee bundle bow. That's what we're aiming for. These are seven inch loops. And how I know they're seven inches is that on this bow maker is a seven inch mark and I can see it. And so I can make a decision on how wide I want my loops for this bow. Okay, so let's do four. What is the bottom thing I use? This or this? This is deco mesh. This is a four in one by Probo the Hand. It is a bow maker. It does four different major things. But th that's what I'm using on the base, if that's what your question is. I hope that's what your question is. We are making a bundle bow. Bumble B bundle bow. This is a 10 inch deco mesh, and these are just scraps that I've pulled out of my stash. So, this was where it came from just a 10 inch mesh that I use partially on the roll. So, this is a wonderful way to use up your deco mesh and not waste it. Hello, Tammy Vargas. Snowy in Ohio. No, thank you. No, thank you. Say no to snow. No to snow. <laughs> no, so sorry. Yeah, it's a four in one. Okay, look at this ribbon. This one makes me giggle. I love it so much. Laurie from Wisconsin. Thank you, Rosier, Ro Rosario, for blessing my page. I so appreciate it. Listen, if y'all are interested in being in the subscriber group, you can get some amazing discounts, some premier video stuff. Um, just now building that group, and it's going to be a fun group to be in if you're interested. The button to join is there on my page. And I think it's going to be fun. Say no to snow. I know this one, Angela, can you believe how pretty this is? This design would be pretty just about in any color combo. Don't you think? I think it would. Now we're making these also seven inches. And I fell in love with the Easter one that we did. If those of you that did not see that Easter one we did this past week, I think we did it on Tuesday. Let me show it to you because it's so cute. Thank you, Laurie. Isn't this going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous bow? Our bundle bow, that's what I like to call this because we're just bundling a bunch of stuff together. So for people that don't really know how to make a bow, this is a great way you can sell these. But look, here is the Easter one that we did. I think it was on Tuesday. Won't that be so cute on something? Anything? Okay, so we've got that ribbon in. So easy to mix and match different things. And I do think... Using up some of your scrap pieces of ribbon and picks and things like that will help you not only use up your supplies, but also to uh, keep your costs down on your items. Now, okay, this one 
is called a directional ribbon. Why is that? Because the bees are only supposed to be going a certain direction. You with me? So to do that and get it going so the bees aren't flying upside down. Oh, I dropped my scissors. Oh, means I got to bend over. Okay, so I'm going to crimp this and I want my bees to be going. We're going to do this one about six inches. So I don't want my bees going the other direction. So I'm going to crimp it right about, let's find six inches, right about there. Okay, crimp this. Now, if I were to lay that in there and have this as my tail, y'all, it would not work because the bees would be going the wrong way. So let's see if this is going to work. So the bees are not going the direction that I want them to go. So what we're going to do is cut this right here. Cut it short. Okay. Now I'm going to go the other direction. The fact that you take the time to do this in the correct way, your customers will appreciate. Pam says she let her gray come through. I am going to love it. I already can tell that it's going to be super, super good. For one, I don't have to run to the hairdresser, you know. Not that I don't like my hairdresser. She's awesome. But um, anyway... Okay, six inches, right about there, crimp it. I know that Easter bow is so fun, isn't it? Okay, so now I'm going to cut this off kind of short because I don't need that extra tail. I just think when you take the extra time to get the orientation right on your print, it really says something about your products. It says you care. You do care about how they look. So our bees are going the right direction, and that makes me happy. Bees are still very popular. We saw them everywhere at market. They are a hot, hot ticket. Okay, so now we're going to lay in some of this ribbon here. And this is a smaller width. It is about an uh, inch and a half. And what I'm going to do is lay that in here like this. So it's got some tails going up. Here's where the bundle bow starts taking shape and becoming something different than a normal bow. Okay, y'all with me? So you can fold this in half, get your center. There's the center. And we're going to make it, uh, crimp it in and just lay it in there like that, okay? Let's do it! Let's do it, let's do it. Now we're gonna lay this one in here, kinda make an X, an X, X. X marks the spot. So this could be totally a piece of scrap ribbon that you have laying in your bundle bow. Now we're going to make another. See that X? Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay. We're getting down to where we're going to add some other fun stuff. 
So the way I suggest you do this bundle bow is before you get to your last ribbon, we're going to start adding in some other elements. And I picked this fun grass. Um, this is really not even available anymore. I'm sorry to say. It is a discontinued item, and I just happen to have some. But it's called monkey, not, is it monkey grass? Spider grass. I knew it was some kind of animal. Okay, so let's do this. Let's make this one go down and make that one go up. It's called spider grass. Okay, so I just laid that in there. Hey, Debbie, there's another one of my TCS ladies. Okay, now, I have picked up a couple of picks from my stash, and these go right in with our theme of our bumblebee. And so we're going to tear these apart like this. I'm going to lay that in to our bundle bow. Yes. Are y'all are y'all kind of with me? Are you lost? Please don't be lost. Please, please, please don't be lost. It's not hard, I so promise you. Okay, I'm just tearing these picks apart. You see what I mean? Then I'm going to lay that across there. Once we get it all kind of assembled, then we can really fine to it. Tammy is right. You should join us in our group. We have so much fun, and I teach you some amazing projects to do. And I promise that you can do them. They're not difficult. I go step by step for every single thing that we do. And explain and over explain and then you can go back and watch the video as many times as you want. So I'm going to put that little bumblebee, my little granddaughter, um, a Liliana when she was small, she used to call them bunglebees. Like with a G, B-U-N-G. Hey, Darlene, welcome. So I put the bunglebee in there. And then I have, which I don't think I'm going to use this big, big bee. There's Maureen. She's in my group too, y'all. All the cool people. All my good people. Of course, I love all of you. You're all wonderful. Um, let's see. If I just get to spend more time with you, is the I'm kind of selfish. I like spending time with y'all. Let's see. Let's get this off. These would be nice on lanterns. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to lay that little piece going down the other direction because I don't think we had anything going that direction. But I am going to save this bee for something else because he's kind of big. I will save it for something else. There's Sue. Sue's in my group. There we have it. Okay, let's put this one kind of going down this way. So you see what's going on here. We have a lot of stuff going on right now we could lay in one of these little bung bunglebees going down we just keep stacking it up until we feel like we want to quit take that one there okay now, what I'm going to do is add 
a zip tie to keep this part of it together. That's another thing that we do in Terry's Creation Station. I teach you all the uh, construction techniques to help you keep your things together and well made so you can sell them and they don't fall apart. So let's put in a zip tie. We have so much in here. Let's go ahead and lift it off. Get this in the middle. This is a bundle bow. So I'm going to pull that really tight. And we're not through. We're going to add one more ribbon. It's mesmerizing. <laughs> So the nice thing about the four in one, four in one, this will split open so you can, you know, keep adding things to it if you want. Okay, one more ribbon. Yes, the spider grass in the double door arrangement. Yes, it was awesome, wasn't it? I wish they'd bring it back. I have requested from the supplier that we get this back but you know with the way china is right now i'm not sure that they're going to be able to do it but um they're going to try zip ties are let's see let me see this is a pretty long one let me measure it for you This was a 15 inch, 15 inch zip tie. Yeah, I would love for them to bring that spider grass back. It is kind of papery. It's got tissue, you know, like tissue paper, but, but sturdier than that. Very much so. Okay, we're going to do these smaller than our previous loops. Yes. And then I'm going to lay one diagonally through like this. You can pretty much do anything that you choose to do. Now I'm going to bring up our zip tie, not zip tie, but our chenille stem. Remember that? We put that in the very first thing. See if I can find the other end. There it is. And I'm going to lift it off. Turn it around there a couple times. Then bring it to the back. This is how we'll attach it to our wreath base. Okay. We have our bum bundle bow. Our bumblebee bumble bow. Bundle bow, bumble. Y'all know what I mean. It's a good thing I haven't been drinking because I wouldn't be able to say that. I can barely say it, and I'm, I haven't been drinking. Okay, let's put it on a wreath base, and then we're going to put it on the door, and I'm going to show you how fabulous this turns out. So you could do this type of bow, and Really, that's all you would need is just a base like this. And then for every season, every holiday, you could uh, change out your bow. And this would be a wonderful thing to sell. You could sell a like a, a summer package with a summer bow, a 4th of July bow, 
you know, package them as a set. Wouldn't that be so cool? Okay, let's pull this around. See, I'm just going to pull this through and tighten it up. And then we're going to put it on the door, and I'm going to show you how great it is. Hey, China. Where can you get the bow maker? At the end of this live, I will put a, a link for you that shows you where you can get it. How's that? Does that sound okay? All right, let's get this on the door. I want to show you how fabulous this is. Let me pull my door close, closer. My door is on wheels, so I can move it around wherever I want it. See, that's that awesome? Hello there. Okay, I'm just going to get it up there so we can fluff out that bow. Let me move this so I can see your comments. The moss wreath I got from General Wholesale. So now it's just a matter of taking your ribbons and fluffing them out and getting your bow positioned. But this would look equally as cute on a grapevine base. And then you could just change these bows out with the seasons, you see. You could have one for Christmas. You could have one for Easter. One for Thanksgiving, Halloween. And I am calling this a bundle bow because all we're doing is just bundling a bunch of different picks and ribbons in. And it's got some three-dimensional look to it. Now, we can move one of these little tails up here and trim it just a little bit. Can y'all see it? Yeah. Look how great this turned out. And you could sell this on Etsy, no problem. Somebody that just wanted to attach this to a wreath base and they're good to go. These are fun to make. You can get them done in no time at all. Bring this bumblebee print ribbon to the front because it's kind of a focal point. Now, isn't that something? Look at this. Y'all, who would not want this on their door? For summer. This right here says summer spring to summer spring to summer and it's so three-dimensional and it just looks fun doesn't it it would be easy to store because it's not very big you know as far as being bulky there it is oh my gosh how fabulous did that turn out? Now, if you're just joining us, go back to the beginning and you can watch how we built this bundle bow from the back up with our first thing being the 10 inch deco mesh. And then we went into our ribbons Now, if you had a sign or whatever, you could put a sign right there. But I think it's fine without the sign, don't you? Renee still has some of the monkey grass. Well, use it. Yes, use it. 
So a couple of things that I want to remind you of, if you'd like to be in our subscriber group, it's $4.99 a month. Jan, right there, you see her supporter badge? She's got a supporter badge. And you're going to also get extra discounts. You're going to get advanced releases on things. So if you don't want to be in Terry's Creation Station, which is full access to all my videos that I teach in that group, um, you don't have time for all of that, but you want to, you know, have some benefits and get some ideas um, and discounts, then join the subscriber group, and I think you'll enjoy it. The other thing I want to show you is these fabric bows. Now, we made these the other night in Terry's Creation Station. And what, look at Sue's got her badge. Go, Sue. Um, we made these in Terry's Creation Station. And what I decided to do was I put this video for sale where you can buy just the video on how to make these. Um, and it is on Terry's Creation Station. I'm going to put the link for you after I get through with the live. It'll be at the top of the chat. And you can see it. Um, but you get the pattern and also the, um, the instructional video to go with it. So um, let me just show you how these look on a wreath. Let me go back to this shot. Now I know this doesn't match. Y'all don't judge me. But if you were to put these on a wreath, that's, about, that's how big they are. They're 15 inches wide. Okay, so you could build on that. That'd be so awesome. There's the, the thing I wanted you to see. So if you were to put this on a wreath, that's about how big it is. It goes about the width of the wreath. You see what I mean? Okay, these are actually bumblebees on here, but the colors aren't right. So cute, right? But that's all I got. Y'all, we did something so fun. I hope you try these bum bundle, <laughs> bundle bows. <laughs> bundle bows. Bumblebee bumble bows. No, bundle. Bumblebee bundle bows. Try it. You can't say it either. So, y'all have a wonderful night. Uh, if you're interested in the subscription group, it is right there at the top of the page. And then also the tutorial for these bows oh, is available for purchase. If you're in Terry's Creation Station, you don't need to buy it because we did it already. And that, it's part of your package. So, um, anyway... Good night. I love you all. And uh, be safe. I will see my TCS members on Monday. And I'll see Tuesday with Terry, the rest of you. So anyway, see y'all later. Bye.